Good morning or afternoon everyone, depending on where you're at and when you're seeing this. My name is Thomas Warden and thank you for joining in with us for a moment. Today I want to talk about happiness and fulfillment. In life, my mom had always told me, if you're not happy with the job situation that you have, then change that job to find that one that makes you happy. And when you find that happiness within a job, then you want to remember the happiness that it made you, the feeling that it made you be happy, right? Because everything that we're doing in life is we're doing it to make us happy. Not just the monetary funds, yes, that is the awesome part of it. That way we can have our toys and our homes and our different things. But we have to be happy in what we do. We have to give a passion for the things that we do. You have to bring it from your heart and know why you started the exact job that you started. If you got it just for the money, then you really didn't get in it for the happiness or to be able to change somebody's life or to help and assist others throughout life, right? So you want to make sure that you have the happiness and you keep it. And if you, the happiness leaves, then you may have to change your routine just a little bit. Change something up that's going to help you, assist you, get that happiness back. And then how can you do that? You can change it by your thought processes, by your words, and or by changing your routine of what you were doing during the morning time. Maybe get up a little bit early and doing some exercises or stretches or some meditation or yoga or something. Something you haven't been doing. So it's a few little changes that we can make on a day-to-day -day basis that can assist us and change us and give us our happiness back. And if you truly aren't happy at your job site because of the co-workers or the friends or the families, then you have to find something different that is going to make you happy, right? If it, whether it's another job, uh, another career path, um, or doing something different within your routine, like I said a minute ago. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Lisa. Thank you all for joining in with me and everyone else that is in here with us watching today. Thank you. And if you don't mind, put in the comments and let me know where you're watching from. And then that way I can see where this is going across the world and how many people are getting touched by the different words and the messages that we put out there. Because every day we do go lives and we try to touch people's lives or we do a, a Zooms with people across the world. That's the best thing about the online world is we can do that. And a lot of people wonder, how can I be happy all the time? How can I have the happiness and the positive energy that I keep out and I project out on a day-to-day -day basis? I promise you, it took me years to get that. It took me years to be able to find it and to be able to have a community that I can work with daily that helps me and assists me with that, right? Because doing it by yourself is so hard. You need somebody for support. You need people for support. And that's where the community comes in in the online world is you can have uh, communities and groups that you get into that will help you no matter what you're going through, no matter what the situation is, whatever the un unhappiness is. And most of them that you go and you listen to, they're going to talk about mindset because you have to start the happiness within you first. You have to be able to get out there and know where you truly want to go and be able to focus on those things in life of what you truly want to do and how you want it to all happen, right? We don't know how things are going to turn out because if we knew the end results already, life would be sucky. Life would be boring, right? If we all knew exactly what we was here to do on a day-to-day -day basis from the day we were born, then we wouldn't have the adventures that we have. We wouldn't meet the people that we meet. You wouldn't run into those that help you and assist you because they have went through situations, right? So it's the reaching out and getting with people and getting in contact with them and asking for you know hey what did you do to be able to get that happiness how do you keep that positive energy right and then when you reach out and you find that it will give you a different perspective and then now you can start maybe your thought process is a little different the words that you give out to yourself a little bit different because if you give out worry and doubt all the time well, then you are going to have nothing but worry and doubt because that mind is sitting there letting that play over and over again. So getting a different mindset and a different perspective of life and the different perspective of how you can use the words of the good and the positive energy. Because like I said, it took years of dedication for me to be able to get on here and be able to talk on these goes lives, to be able to give a message, you know, because I wasn't able to do this overnight. But yet, I found a community that assisted me and helped me get my inner self out, the inner love, the inner passion, the inner happiness. And to be able to work for myself at home, you know, that is the large majority of a lot of my happiness. Because I was so depressed all the time. I was loving life, right? But I wasn't loving myself. I was loving the monetary funds that I was making, but I didn't really truly enjoy life because I was away from my family and friends all the time. 
in another state, another country. And then, you know, if I did get time off, I didn't have much time when I was working construction. So to join in and do something different with the community, to change my life and my perspective from working for somebody to working for myself, yes, that brought on a lot of my happiness. But I had to find the happiness within myself before any of it actually worked, before any of it all started connecting the dots together, right? Before I could get this one to that one to that one to that one, I had to learn the adventures. And the adventures that I went on and the failures, as some people call it in life, I call it learning curves because I knew what I did before and it didn't work, so I knew what not to do again, right? So I knew what to move forward to a different direction to make my life even better. So today my message is to find your inner happiness, right? If you started a job and you, you know, loved it when you first got there and you had the energy and the vitality and you was ready and you liked to punch it out and get the job taken care of, and you lost that energy then I'm gonna tell you to step back and try to remember when you first got the job what was so exciting about it and then try to find that passion again you know if not then try to change your routine just a little bit like I said maybe get up a little bit earlier and do some stretches and yogas um, getting off work instead of where you normally go after work go somewhere different uh, if you go out to eat you know and it's just a normal same old routine change your routine just a little bit you'll meet new people You'll hear new conversations, and it might be some that will help and assist you along the way. So guys, I hope y'all got a little bit of value out this today, you know, to maybe change your routine and your perspectives, and get the happiness back within your heart. Get the happiness within here, so everything that you do throughout the day, every day, no matter it's a job that you hate or not, you're going to go there happy. You're going to go there with a smile on your face, all because you gave yourself a different perspective in life. Guys, I want to thank y'all very much for stepping on here with me today. Hope y'all got some great value and information. Love and appreciate every one of y'all. And leave a comment below for me. Let me know if you got some value out of this video. If you got some information that kind of helps you and changed you just a little bit. And your thought process or your, your words that you're bringing out now. I love and appreciate y'all guys. And I look forward to your comments. Talk to y'all soon.